Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you a technique of selecting around hair. So that's one of the biggest things in Photoshop, you know, how do you select around hair? Because there are a lot of um, negative space areas around the hair and you don't want to um, lose a lot of this uh, detail. So the technique I'm going to show you is really meant for selecting around hair. So good luck and here we go. I'm going to use the um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just get a general selection here. So I'm just going to use the quick select and I'm going to just um, select around the background. Okay, and you can kind of see that's what I've done. I've selected around. I've got a pretty decent selection. All right, and if I had, and if I had um, deleted that, you could see uh, it would look very hard edged and almost cut out with like a scissor. So we don't want that. So now that I have this selection, I am selecting the background. So I want to select inverse, and that will make the opposite of that selection. So now I'm selecting her. The next thing I'm going to do is, while I'm still on this tool, and you can be on any of these selection tools, you will see the Select and Mask button up at the top. I'm going to click that. Now, if yours doesn't look like mine, I happen to like a view called black and white. I believe it might default on the red one here, but I'm going to choose black and white. And on the left, we have a few tools here that can help us. And I'm just going to make this a little smaller so you can see. Okay, so uh, we have a few tools. Now, that was the quick select tool, but I'm going to go to this one right here, and you can see it looks like a little hairball on the brush. It's called the uh, def, um, Refine Edge Brush Tool. <clears throat> and what I'm going to do is, with my bracket keys next to my P key on the keyboard, I can make my brush size larger or smaller. And I'm looking for a size about this big. And what I'm going to do is I'm only going to stay in the hair area. I wouldn't want to paint on the skin area here. I'm going to just go about half and half through through the edge here. You can see I'm just kind of swiftly moving through and finding uh, the edge of the hair. So I'm refining the edge here and you can see some of this moves in a little bit deeper. So you could try and see if you find anything else. Now I know down here there's a little bit deeper and right over here there was. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, um, you can add just a tiny bit of radius here, and I like that you can work with fractions, so I'm just going to do that 0.5 radius. Oh, <laughs> I guess you can't. Um, so I'm going to go to a 1 here, and I'm going to turn on this smart radius. Okay, and then I do like to just smooth it a touch. Let's see if I can go with a 0.5 on that. So go to a 1 and press enter. So we'll go to a 1 on that. So just to smooth it out, you can see what smoothing does if I move it up further. So I'm just going to smooth it one pixel. And I'm going to feather it. And this is the one where I can go to about a 0.5 here for a feather. All right. So I'm good now. I'm going to press OK. And you can see the difference now in the selection, how it's digging into some of these areas. And I'll prove to you how good this looks. I'm going to copy, so that's Command C, and I've created a document here that I'm going to paste this into. And you can see all of the hair that is found. It's not perfect, but it's certainly a lot better than what it used to be. And that is how to select hair in Photoshop. So good luck, and give it a try.